Dear Medicos, we are having a proud moment of having Dr. Amya with us, rank five, NEET examination 2023. So, beta, congrats, congrats on this big. Thanks a lot, sir. Thanks a lot. So, beta, kaisa lag raha you? How you are feeling after this rank of five? Bahut kuchu, <laughs> excited. It was a really a pleasant surprise. I was expecting a good rank, but like top five was a dream come true. Dream so, come really, true. really happy. So you are our Dams Mumbai student and we'll be using this platform to just share your success journey with us. How, sure, sir. Yes, how sir. it was possible for you to reach this rank 5? Yes, sir. So actually I joined uh, Dams as a foundation by student in third minor. So uh, initially the classes were offline, but after COVID, majority of the lectures were uh, online. So during our lockdown, uh, I tried to... Uh, cover most of the subjects, lectures, and notes. I made handwritten notes for almost all the subjects. Uh, and then during third year, I uh, focused mainly on PSM, ENT, Oftel. And during final year, I focused on the main five subjects. And uh, as, as per the time, I read were sh uh, short subjects. So at the end of final year, I was pretty much confident about the third and the final year subjects, which were the clinical subjects and which have a uh, majority of uh, the questions. And I was confident about the basic concepts and uh, the uh, uh, basic information. And I knew that I had to just uh, brush up the things that we need to memorize. And so during my internship, uh, our internship started from 24th of May. So around June 1st and 2nd week, I started preparing. So initially, first I focused on first, second year subjects and short subjects because uh, they were comparatively weaker because first, second year, we had read it uh, three, four years back. So... I initially started with those, then I covered the uh, clinical subjects, and then I started giving a uh, more number of uh, GTs and subject wise tests. Very nicely, very beautifully, you have compiled everything like in the third year yes. you stated. That is the beauty of Mumbai yes. school, I feel. Okay, you people compile. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. You, you started from the third year, you write your own notes, you focus more on the ENTP. Yes, so, but I like, yes. what was the role of those? Like, I'm taking from your words, what was the role of those self written notes in your success journey of rank five? I think uh, self written notes were gold standard. That is what we measure for almost all the subjects. I've referred to DAMS notes right from first year to short subjects. And uh, I think the notes are pretty much uh, to the point concise as well as all encompassing. And uh, uh, I mean, the notes are also useful for the, the respective years university exams. You know, even medicine, ENT, of the LPSM, all the notes were crisp as well as uh, all encompassing. So I could also use them for university exams okay. as well as it was possible to revise them uh, multiple times during the internship. internship. So like in the internship, you have given very golden words. Okay, we should start from the first year, second year, because we have completed those subjects yeah. three, four years back. So but I like in fine, in the internship, when you have written your own notes in the third and final, in the internship, how many times like every medical want to know, okay, like rank five, how many yes, times revise beta? If I come on the number of the revision. Um, the number of revisions? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, I believe that uh, two to three revisions in total are necessary. Two revisions compulsory of all the subjects and three revisions for those you are weaker in. Yes. The more the better. But I believe that along with revision, special solving practice is also equally important. Because, you know, just reading the notes of five, six times, but not solving the questions, I think you would lag behind. Because in this year's need, if you see that memory-based questions were not so much. The topics were common. Diagnosis was also easier. But the options were very uh, confusing. They were twisted and a few controversial points. So I think that is where yeah, the presence of mind at that time and ability to rule out questions. I think that is what was important in this need rather than just having the information. So I believe that a question solving practice and uh, two to three revisions, two to three readings of uh, all the subjects is something that helps. And then, you know, a quick revision in the last seven to 10 days. Like uh, you have revised your notes two to three times and you are saying okay, you have attempted all the MCQs in the internship. Like I'm taking one by one. Like let us take first TND, test and discussion yes, MCQ. Sir. So if you yes. compare with the MCQs of last week with our TND, yeah. where you will rate here? Yeah. What was the pattern? Uh, I believe, I think uh, the, the uh, TND for any subject is generalized for the subject, including NEET plus I. So TND test is quite tough because it also it is also for I and I. It is for a subject and not particularly for need. Uh, I felt that this year's need questions were actually easy as compared to the TND questions or GT questions. Uh, it's just that the question solving practice helps you to rule out options. 
and i think that was uh, you know the presence of mind and your wisdom at that point of the exam to rule out options and to narrow down to one particular option i think in this year's need that was more important so what do you feel the level of mcq was tougher than tnd or it was uh, your side uh, it was easier than tnd it was easier than tnd yeah. now coming on the gts and swt beta how you handle yes, these three di different sources like one is your tnd yes, question sir. one is our gt one is swt yes, how you manage to handle in the internship uh, sir basically initially i thought that i uh, i should be reading the notes of any subject and try to solve the question bank so initially when i started a subject i first read it and then i in the question bank at least the main topics questions i solved because it was not possible to do each and every question then during the second reading i started giving uh, swts and tnd so i i i was not able to complete all the tnds but weaker subjects i tried to complete and the major like medicine obgyn and surgery and the other subjects which i was weaker in so i did those during my second reading like tnds and swts and then during the third reading it was uh, predominantly a quick revision of the topics which i generally find difficult I, like i had narrowed down a very very much during the third reading because we didn't have a lot of time to do the third reading and that is how i used the tnd and swts and i think up, uh, when i had just when i had just two subjects left for my first reading at that time i started giving gt so around like first week of november and i started giving the grand test but i had left behind medicine and pediatrics because i was quite confident about them i had done them very well in final year so i had left those two subjects and they started gt giving gt and then gradually i started second that's very nice planning beta you are sharing with all the students and i am i'm confident all the medical listening to you will follow your footprint and definitely they will sure sir your presentation dr amir yes, i with us and i want every medical should listen to his honest feedback what he is saying he start from third year and just try to do two to three revision in the internship now coming in the last spell like beta like last few months of internship and that you were in mumbai because many students they give excuse ke along with the internship it is not possible yeah. you, with the rank 5 that's from mumbai that's from km hospital so it means is a big big achievement for you so now how what was the role of dbt in the last spell beta like what what yeah. two months back before your examination dbt how it played the role yeah uh, i i i went through the dbt of like uh, dbt lectures in jan month of jan i did, i did the recorded lectures i did for all subjects Uh, so my uh, aim was like in last forty five days, my aim was that I should do my third reading uh, in thirty uh, to thirty five days, and then last seven to ten days I had kept for final revision in the twentieth notebook. So uh, I, I my plan was that while doing the DVT lecture itself, I tried to read it once at that time only, and then I revised it again in in the last fifteen days, and only specific highlighted points I had kept for the last seven days. so my strategy was like in last 45 days basically quick read quick third reading of all the subjects giving gts every 5 to 6 days uh, uh and uh, uh, revising dvt at least once and then in the last 7 days uh, what i had done was i had uh, i had made two notebooks one was for the questions that i go wrong in gt and the new points that i learned in the grand test and another notebook was for the topics that i found new while giving the swt or something from the notes itself but i am Uh, unable to remember or something from the PYQ, which was uh, which was a newer topic. So that was so last seven days were for those two notebooks, uh, two GTs, and I taken uh, like for in for a subject like surgery, there are many staging and scoring systems. So I taken uh, uh, photos of that in my tablet. So I had like hundred photos of surgery, hundred photos of medicine, hundred photos of obijwa in the end. So I was only going to revise those because if we try to open notes in the last seven days. Then more the more we read notes, more we understand that how much we have forgotten because you are going to forget some of the other thing out of the entire syllabus. So if you open notes at the last moment, and that is going to add to anxiety. So I think you should need to have something crisp and concise so that you are able to do the topics that you forget. Plus you are also confident and satisfied. कि चलो मैंने जो plan किया था उतना मैंने cover कर लिया. And so that was my images, overall strategy for yeah very good these images were those images where you were feeling uncomfortable like i'm i'm not confident of this image so let us take this image for the last seven days yes yes so especially the topics that we need to memorize like staging and scoring system like in ent laryngeal cancer staging and other scoring systems so i had taken photos of all that of all the uh, clinical subjects 
so like 100 photos of major subjects and 30 photos of ENT, 30 photos of of that. So I had uh, I had only limited myself to that and my 20th not during the last seven years. That's great, Bita, and I'm very happy that like you're sharing each and every bit of your preparation so that every student, yes, every student could take the best advantage. Like any yes, special moment in the examination hall, like you were sitting in the examination hall and you recollect, yeah, this was in the DVT or this was in the CBT or our GT. Any yeah, special? Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I remember. Uh, there was one question on uh, the ectopic pregnancy that asked, "What is the treatment?" So. Initially, I during the DVT, I had from other source, I read that it was in my mind that multiple dose of methotrexate should be given. But I remember that the PMS told me a single dose methotrexate has to be given uh, in the uh, dose that she had taught. So that question I also remember that was from uh, 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 the this thing uh, DVT, and even uh, I remember hydrative cyst image was there which Sumer sir had taken in radiology. So by, where, there were few questions that. Uh, if maybe I had not revised DVT in the last like, 15 days, I would have been confused in the options. So, few questions, I it, it really helped. That it struck in the mind that I have never told you that you have the answer is this. It's great, great, yeah. great sharing your feedback regarding DVT and your PYQ. Now, but any yes, special message for the DAMS family? Like any role they played yes, in the academic, like non academic role? DAMS yes, sir. Played. Actually, yeah, I mean, academic support has always been there throughout from the third minor itself. Faculties are always there to solve the doubts and their experience. But I think, uh, you know, I, I follow almost all of the faculties on Instagram and the motivation that they give throughout the preparation. I mean, there would be days that we feel low. Especially in the last seven days, you know, you solve a new question, you get a question wrong, then you get anxious, are you, are you topic engineer? But at that time, you know, especially Sumer sir, Dipti man, all the teachers, they used to post on Instagram that believe in yourself, uh, don't give up last few days, uh, you know, push yourselves. So I think those really help you to calm down and make you believe in yourself, prepare, and everything would turn out good in the uh, future. So I think the support other than academic also has always been there from the entire dance team and, you know, really... Uh, I would like to express my gratitude to the entire team, all the faculties, uh, you know, the supporting staff, Sumer sir, Dipti ma'am, you, uh, they've always been, uh, you know, expert in their subject, obviously, but other than their subject, also they've always been motivating and coming up with newer, newer strategies to make it easier for all the students. So Thanks. that really helped. Thanks for such kind words. And in the last, I want any special message for your parents because of whom you are here. Yes, sir. It, it would, not, would not have been possible be, uh, without the uh, unconditional support of all my family members, my mom, dad, uh, my uncle, aunt, my cousin, brother, my grandmother also. Even she played a very important role, especially in the last 7 to 10 days. You not only require uh, just support, but you know, a psychological support from their side that they're there with you. you know, they're assuring you that it's okay. You have given your 100%. And that is what matters. Rank does not matter. What matters is your given your 100%. So, you know, that when you have that kind of support from your parents, uh, that really helps. So, you know, it would not have been possible because of their, uh, without their unconditional support, right from, you know, first ten years, not just, uh, you know, during the internship, but, you know, whatever, whenever uh, it was required, they were always there, they stood with me and they always supported me. You go and chase your dreams. We are always there uh, for you if anything goes wrong. So that really, really helped. Even all my friends, they've always been encouraging and yeah, all of them are really happy with the result. Yes, they should, yeah. Rank five is awesome yeah. achievement. And I yeah, can yeah. and we convey our regards to your grandmother and your family. I feel this is sure, this, this is their success, but a rank five is their success and you just yes, sir. It is it's a success of all these people as much as it is of me as well as the dance team. Any special message for your juniors who are listening to you across the globe? Uh, yes, sir. I, I would say uh, believe in yourself. Uh, you, there are going to be certain tests or GTs that you might have a low score. At that time, believe in yourselves. Uh, start giving GTs early and initially in your preparation, don't look towards GT from point of view of it uh, as a test, but look at it towards towards GT as if you, uh, you know it is going to give you 200 high yielding points. Uh, initially, when I started giving GT, when I was uh, about uh, I was about to complete my first reading, my main approach was to kuch nahi to, mujhe 200 topics samajhne wale jo high yield. So that approach helped me to start GT early and initial two days my approach was to kuch kuch naya sikhne mil raha. And then, yeah, in the last two days, you can assess ki kitna score hai, rank kya ho hai. And yeah, believe in yourself and do solve questions. Reading is also important, but uh, from my experience of these years, 
question solving practice and you know being the ability to rule out options and presence of mind so i think cbt also helped me uh, in that that you know one experience of giving an exam so that really helped me uh, to minimize the silly mistakes and to decrease the anxiety and uh, and one more thing that whenever you give gt try to give it as if you are going to uh, you are attempting it as a final exam really? especially in the last two months because initially when i think that mistake i committed the initially when i was giving gt i was solving it once only and i was submitting in within two and a half hours but then i realized in last two months that actually you should be giving it like a proper test so that you are till the last moment you are trying to rule out options or trying to choose which is the best option because many times multiple options are correct but the best one is what the next best option is required so last two three months give all the duties as if you are giving it uh, uh, appearing for a final exam thank you beta thanks dr may rank 5 i thank you for giving these words this of advice to your juniors and i confident they will follow your footprint thank you thank you sir it was our great pleasure. experience to talk to you we look Arre, up to all you. the faculty members as our role models and it was a it was a fan moment for me to meet you thank you beta thanks a lot we wish you very best of luck yes. thanks a lot thank you very much thank you beta